you know, I think it's one of the one of the many blessings of like being gay is that you have this other kind of community, and I think it's um, a blessing and a responsibility. When I first came to New York City in 1991, it was like, wow, there's this whole other group of people that are like me, and I can really be my authentic self because I don't have to hide that part. That was a great feeling and very liberating. At the same time, you know, the AIDS epidemic was still in full swing, and our community, you know, and something we can be very proud of, rallied together and said, listen, President Reagan and our government are not, you know, taking care of this. Why don't we do it ourselves? And really raised their voices and raised money and took care of their own. We really need to remember that we are one big community and we have to support each of those groups. Sometimes we lose sight of that and I think it's really important to remind everybody like you're part of a bigger community and we need to support everybody in that community. I hope we're doing the same thing now with the trans movement because that is it's part of our community and I think the thing that we should be most proud of is that we tend to stick together and um, support you know those of us under that umbrella. When you're gay, you go home and you're like, I can't tell you why I'm upset because I'm afraid to tell you and you know, maybe you won't love me anymore. So that's very scary. And it's so important for young people to see people like them on TV. So they say, oh, I'm not alone. And oh, of course I can be successful because so-and-so's like me and they're successful. I saw them on TV. So me growing up, I didn't have that. We didn't have a political message. Like, I was just wanting to get people out of, you know, mullets and pleated khakis. But I think just being ourselves was a very powerful thing. And people would, you know, come up to me and say, oh my gosh, you're really cool. Um, you're the first gay person I ever knew. And I was like, have you never had your hair highlighted? Have you never been on a commercial airliner? You know, that's the power of television is that you're in people's living rooms. It's very intimate and reality TV even more so. You're not playing a character. People are getting to know you. And that is the power of being out. You know, in high school, and people would be like, you know, there's that queer guy. And then I remember coming back and teenagers being like, oh my God, you're that queer guy. And it had totally changed, you know, just the tone of what that word meant. Inside, I wanted to cry like tears of happiness, like, oh my God, it's finally okay to just be me but then I probably just like brushed it off with a joke and kept going, because that's kind of my MO. Um, but it's, it's a pretty good feeling to have something that you think is a negative um, be celebrated.